welcome to Auto News TV Compact. All the important facts from the automotive world. Audi presents two new top models in the mid-range, the S4 and the S4 Avant station wagon. Both received major makeovers. A new 3-liter V6 replaces the former 8-cylinder. Also new, the Eaton Roots type supercharger, eliminating any turbo lag. The 7-speed dual-clutch transmission shifts the S4 smoothly without any interruption in power. Also available is a 6-speed manual tranny, allowing the sleek Audi to accelerate from rest to 100 kilometers per hour in 5.1 seconds. The new S4 has a real athletic look to it. The front with plenty of chrome, at the rear LED lights and a subtle yet functional spoiler. LED technology also adorns the front with Audi's unmistakable daytime running lights which come standard integrated into the Xenon Plus headlights. Chrome rings surround the fog lamps. Four oval tailpipes hint at the 333 horsepower inside. From a side angle, the side sills painted in the color of the car accentuate the brawny width of the body. In the station wagon, the loading capacity is as generous as ever. Between 490 and 1430 liters fit in the trunk. The interior decor underlines the sporty nature of the car, very impressive with its high quality craftsmanship and functional arrangement. The new multimedia interface fits in perfectly. According to Audi, the sedan uses 9.7 liters of premium fuel to cover 100 kilometers versus 9.9 .9 liters for the station wagon. With their smaller engines, the new S4 models are out to continue the success of the whole series. It looks real mean and goes by the name of Black Series. What the Mercedes SL65 AMG Black Series is really all about, you won't notice till you get in behind the wheel. At best, at a racetrack like here in Laguna Seca, California. Its stats, 670 horsepower, 1,000 newton meters of torque generated by a 6-liter V12 engine, a super sports car product of the AMG Performance Studio, developed by engineers who know their way around the racing circuits, for it was them who also built the official safety car for Formula One racing. The huge air scoops in the front apron and the air vents in the side fenders tell you what kind of high-performance engine this guy is waiting to unleash inside. The link to motorsports is also clear at the back. The extendable spoiler and the apron with its diffuser ribs to optimize grip. Each engine is made by one single technician at the AMG plant. As proof, each engine block bears the technician's signature. The name Black Series really applies to the interior. Everything's black in Napa leather, Alcantara and carbon emanating a true motorsports ambience. The AMG bucket seats are a completely new development. Beneath the leather is super light carbon reinforced plastic. The SL65 AMG Black Series is a real powerhouse for drivers wanting to push things to the max. From rest of 100 kilometers per hour in 3.8 seconds, 200 is surpassed after 11, and the needle doesn't stop till it hits 320, and that's only because of a control mechanism. A new sports chassis with coilover suspension, the direct steering, and a sophisticated 5-speed automatic round off the package. New York City, the starting point for a very unusual rally, the Audi Mileage Marathon. Mileage in the American sense of how much fuel a car uses per gallon. 
and keeping it as good as possible. That's the motto of the Audi Mileage Marathon, which is lavishly celebrated at the Audi Forum in New York on the evening before the actual start. The next morning, the drivers set off on the first of 14 legs, the first 400 of a total of 7,700 kilometers. More than 40 participants are in the 23 Audis, accompanied by an entire cavalcade of escort vehicles. First destination, Washington, D.C. From here, the marathon heads straight into the heartland, all the way to the Pacific Coast. In Chicago, Denver, and Las Vegas, new groups of drivers take over. The object of this marathon? To demonstrate how frugal and comfortable Audi's new diesel technology is on American roads. And to convince the Americans that diesel engines by no means need to be loud, dirty, nor slow. The first results show that the 2-liter TDI in the A3 only required 5.2 liters to cover 100 kilometers. The 3-liter TDI needed between 5.6 liters in the A4 and 7.8 liters in the Q7. From Chicago, it's almost a straight line south through Illinois and Arkansas to Tennessee. Audi put the official Motorsports Association IMSA in charge of fueling the cars, measuring their consumption, and monitoring the results of the mileage marathon. A seal on the tank prevents any tampering. After a night of music in Memphis, the route takes the drivers to Dallas and Amarillo in Texas, and finally across the Great Plains back north. Participants arrive practically every night beneath clear skies and start out again in the mornings with the sun shining, at times in t-shirts, other times in winter jackets, faced with all kinds of different weather conditions. The weather's not always perfect though, and after one week of the mileage marathon, some of the Audis look a bit bedraggled. A short trip through New Mexico, on to Colorado, and before the mileage marathon reaches the Rocky Mountains, it's halftime in Denver. The Audi mileage marathon has already crossed 14 states when it reaches the halfway point in Denver. With temperatures just above freezing, it's time for the most scenic part of the route. As it winds around mountain passes more than 3,000 meters high in the Rockies, on past the Gold Rush city of Durango, and through the Indian Reservation in the Monument Valley National Park. The 23 participating vehicles come through the mountain lakes without any technical difficulties. The drive gets more relaxed and entertaining along the historic stretch of the old Route 66. A bit later, the road leads through another desert. In the gambling paradise of Las Vegas, the last group of drivers is already waiting to take these fuel-efficient steeds on out for the final jaunt to the Pacific. Leaving Las Vegas behind, the drivers and their cars once again face some tests in extreme conditions. In Death Valley, it's still 40 degrees Celsius in mid-October. Whoever can't take the heat is best inside with the air conditioning on. But that eats up fuel and also points. To triumph, you have to sweat. More fascinating mountain scenery in the Yosemite National Park, and then finally, the Pacific Ocean is in sight. In the coastal city of Monterey, the entire group treats itself to some R&R, &R, an entire day at the Laguna Seca racetrack. First, a lap around the course for the fans, then the pros take over, topped off by the season victory of Audi at the American Le Mans series, of course, powered by diesel technology. The final day along the coast to the finish line in Santa Monica near Los Angeles. There's a very good reason for the climax of the Audi mileage marathon being in California. The Audi Q7 is fitted for the first time with the ultra-low emission system, hence fulfilling the Californian emission standards, the strictest in the world, a challenge for every car maker. The cars cross the finish line after more than 4,800 miles. Average consumption of the A3 to the Q7, 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Modern diesel technology is ready to conquer a new continent. <laughs>